is the promised land. Hallelujah. The promised land. Glory to God. Yes, there is a promised land, a place of destination. You are on a journey going somewhere. And my prayer is that you will reach your promised land in Jesus' name. You will reach the Kelan land. So what I would enjoin you to do is avoid distraction. Keep your focus. Keep your gaze. Keep your eyes before you. Do not look to the right. Do not look to the left. The Bible says that he opposes you with the right, his right hand of righteousness. He will take you to destination. Avoid doubt. Avoid thinking that maybe, maybe not. Just believe that you can and that all things are possible through Christ. You'll reach your promised land. Stay blessed and enjoy the rest of your day. God bless. Glory to God Most High. The phrase for deliberation today is in the desert. I've been asked to speak on the phrase in the desert. To be in the desert is being in the wilderness. People go through wilderness experience because wilderness experience is not the best time. It's dry. It's I mean, things are hazy, there is not a comfort zone, the sun is scorching, you know, water is scarce there. It's not just a comfortable environment. So you might be going through a wilderness, a desert experience, but know that you are on your way to Canaan land. If you do not look to the right or to the left, if you keep your eyes on Jesus, the Bible says that where will it help? The, the psalmist says in, in the Bible that where will it help come from? According to Psalm 121, he, he, he knows that his help will only come from the Lord. So keep your eyes on the Lord as you go through that desert experience. It is just for a moment you will get to your promised land, but hold on to the author and the finisher of your faith who will see you through to destination. Stay blessed and bye for now.